Let's express 0 0.18 as a fraction. And by that I mean a numerator over a denominator here. So the first thing we want to do is think of 0 0.18 as 0 0.18 over 1. This is kind of a start of our fraction. Next, we can see we have 1, 2. So we have two decimal places. That means we're going to multiply by 100. And we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 100. Essentially, 100 divided by 100, that's just 1. We're multiplying by 1, so we haven't changed the value, just the way it's represented. 100 times 0.18, that's 18. 100 times 1, that's 100. And now we have a fraction. We can reduce this down to lowest terms. It looks like if we divide the top by 2, 18 divided by 2, that's 9, and then 100 divided by 2, and we can't reduce this down any further. If you take 9 and divide it by 50, or 18 and divide it by 100, you'll get 0 0.18. They're the same thing. This is just a decimal. This is expressed as a fraction. This is Dr. B converting the decimal 0 0.18 to a fraction. It's 9 50ths. Thanks for watching.